Welcome to What Is Life. You thought it. We'll answer it. This is your boy, Cody, the believer. And Josh, the skeptic. Yo, so today, I've been noticing, like, recently, more and more TV commercials, right? They have the ideal Asian wife as, you know, the, the main cast. But it's not an Asian dude with her. It's usually, like, some white guy or of white complexion hitting that up, you feel me? And it's not only in TV and media and movies, but when you go out in these mean New York streets, you know, it's like close to zero degrees sometimes here. You see that Asian girl getting loved by mad dudes. It's cuffing season. Mainly white dudes, but mad dudes. Well, I see that poor Asian guy on the street corner trying to holla for a pork bun dollar. And you know, he seems cold. I feel for him. It's tough out here as an Asian male. Feel for him. That is what I've been saying. <laughs> we got the we got the non-believer. So let us know, let's know your thoughts, Josh. Uh, well, I could honestly say I don't think I've ever heard someone say holler for that pork bun dollar before. <laughs> well, you just did. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if I, I think that's entirely true. Um... Or I don't I don't know if it's like anyone's fault really. Um, we have tons of like Asian people throughout, like specifically in like New York City, and I'm not noticing any like major trends. Can you elaborate? Alright, you're not noticing any major trends, right? But if you want to look at the statistics, I'm gonna use online dating as an example, right? I'm sure you know that the most sought after female are Asian females right now, at least on online dating sites. And I have like, seen a BuzzFeed article. <laughs> where they said, where but they said it, like that is the hottest uh, on the streets. But right. continue. It's not fake news, anyways. But anyways, um, let, let, we can make the argument. I'll make this argument for you, right? Like people who use online dating sites, whatever, they might be a little bit more serious, or they might be more educated, depending on which application you use. Right, and I'm not gonna label none unless these apps want to sponsor us. But <laughs> going on, right? Um, you can see that in the least desired male nationality or culture background is Asian. So, if the numbers lie, that women and men do. I mean, what the numbers don't lie, <laughs> men and women lie. What do you got to say to that, Josh? Uh, like so the. I think it's so crazy because it's like, all right, yes, I have seen other articles. I don't know how uh, factual. I think they did like chart. Um, they charted dating apps when they did say when they did show that like Asian women are like the most desirable. But um, there is actually no reason why, right? Like I equate it to. And there I are I reasons shared, why. I think I should have missed it, <laughs> right? You can't really tie the connection, right? Ten years ago, right? If you were going to put together, like, a magazine cover, you would showcase breasts over the backside. Now it is the absolute switch, <laughs> right? Ten years ago, um, Asian women were not number one on the charts. So I, 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 can't, I can't determine what has changed in that time. To, to see these increased, like, hit rates. Well, in that time period, culture has kind of caught up, right, with, with certain things, right? Like, K-pop, I'm sure, has played an influence of bringing Asians into the mainstream market, one. Two, it's like the Asian-American movement, right, has, has rallied, right? K-pop in the U.S. <laughs> yes, K-pop in the U.S. <laughs> there are K-pop fanatics, I'm telling you. But anyways, like... The Asian American movement has also rallied, right? Like rallies take time to ramp up, right? And as they add more people to the crusade, people are like, "Oh, these are the model minorities. Yo, Asian women are docile. Like Asian men are are fragile. You know, like I'm spitting bars right now, but unattended. <laughs> but like even with that, right? These are would you say that that's actually true? I would that say I would say stereotyping. It seems to be kind of true. It seems to be a bit true. But, okay. Then, then the norm. Alright, would you disagree? I, um, the Asian women I know are feisty. Like, I, I don't know um, if I would say, like, docile or whatever like that. I think what you would see is um, 
that, I mean, it, it might just be true of, like, values or whatever like that, but, um, especially, like, just in our, our region or whatever, you're going to see, like, them being educated, um, like, college education, uh, usually driven some type of goals or whatever like that, and that kind of stuff leads to you, um, being, like, a great candidate, right? That's what people want to see in either male or female. They want to see you, uh, educated, doing well. Like, if you don't got no job, you ain't got no car, then you ain't getting no... Love. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So, also, statistically, it's been shown that Asians have been rising in, like, the median household income, right? So, it's obvious that... There's dudes, that Asian dudes, they be, they be getting the cars, oh, they be getting the house. You research on this. Huh? You <laughs> doing some research I on mean, that. I feel it's common knowledge <laughs> at this point when your boy's educated, you know what I mean? They're educated and, and, and things of the sort, right? But I think maybe it's just their innate cultural upbringing doesn't allow them to integrate properly with American culture. Um, that's partially on their fault, on, on their end, right? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say as an excuse or whatever for them and it's also like you said where you've never seen any of your asian friends like be as aggressive talking to girls at clubs or or, or things of the sort as you've seen with other races right and i'm sure that plays a role into it too but <clears throat> there are asian females that do not date their own race and it seems that oh so that now is, you're changing it up <laughs> well, I'm adding, I'm adding to the before. argument. I'm uh, adding to the argument, right? All right, all right, add to it, add to it. This is because, why, but why is that the case, right? Is it because they just find them unattractive? Or is it like some other underlying message, you know? And this, this to add to the point that it seems that Asian males are not catching up in attractiveness as Asian females have been. See, I would argue outside of that. Because to me, that doesn't make sense, right? It's not... Um, I guarantee you, uh, we could go right inside of Chinatown right now, <laughs> and there's a bunch of women right there that will only date within, in their race. Alright, right? I, I agree. So, um, I wouldn't say that these Asian women are not dating their own ways, race. I, I would not say right? either, but there are some. There are some, right? And then I think that that demographic are those people who are both born and raised in the United States. Which um, then changes a lot, right? Because um, your understanding of what, like, you know, uh, like normal is, like those rules would have been, I, I would say, like abolished, right, in, in the United States, right? So you would absolutely not confine yourself to finding one person, especially in like the Northeast, right? Oh, uh, it's like they have to be Asian and they have to be this. Um, they have to be that, right? It's more, it's more of a fact, like, um, where you grew up, who were you around, right? And, like, yeah, for our age, like, where you went to college. Mm -hmm. So you're, so you're making, like, the argument that because these Asian chicks are growing up in these environments where they have more, like, I guess, face time with other demographics, right? They may be more inclined to be attracted to them because they are u more used to them, right? Whereas, like, if you're a transplant from this country, you're not used to other cultures. Is yeah, that to be, and, and to be totally fair, right? So when you're dating, right, uh, where do most people look for, and this is, um, where do most people look for someone to date, right? Where they they normally are, right? School, work, um, probably not Interwebs, a great idea. Reddit. And then after that, <laughs> then after that, it's like, okay, uh, if you can't find anyone that you cross your paths with every day, like at the gym or something like that, then you go to like online dating, etc. Um, where you have the entire, you, you have the um, option to say, oh, I only want to date people within like these five years of, w within five years of me. Or I only want to date people who are male or female. Or I only want to date people who are this specific race, right? Um, definitely know some apps that you could just say like, all right, I'm only interested in these two, right? So if you're, um, only, if you're interested, like if you don't like narrow your field, right? Um, I would then argue, there's tons of, um, then argue that 
you you then open up the gambit, right? Who's going to be the first people to reach out? Uh, I wouldn't let the Asian men because I've asked like <laughs> like four of my Asian friends. I'm like, listen, I really like this app. You should get on it. And they're like, no, I don't think I want to. Like, that's no, not at all. Won't do it. So, Why though? Why though? Like, honestly, I I can't even get to the bottom of that. <laughs> <laughs> He said like, his phone was full. I was like, listen, like, there's <laughs> plenty of things I would delete if it meant that I could start talking to some of these honeys. But um, <laughs> that's, a, that's a video for another time. Hmm, interesting. But, you know, what do you think you see more of? A Asian chick with an, another dude? Like another racial dude? Or a Asian dude with another racial chick? I do see more Asian girls with uh, different kinds of races, right? Mainly white. <laughs> I did not say that. I did not say that. I said I do see them with different races, which means is the mentality of Asian women different than Asian men? That I can argue is yes, because um, these educated women who are like, out here doing like their own thing right uh they have complete freedom and choice they do they do their own thing right so if it means this one person is going to treat them right or approach them in the correct way then like by all means meanwhile asian men right you can like you have more experience with this right what exactly do they like, right? What is the what is the driving factor? Uh -huh. A lot of Asian men that I talk to, they want specific circumstances for the right girl, right? Like she has to be into such and such, or uh, she must uh, like she can't she can't be too aggressive, right? Like so, if she goes out and parties, etc. Right? And she tells you, hey, look, I really like you or whatever like that. The, she, she parties too much, not interested, right? Or, you know, but if she was bookish, right, every day for a year, she sat next to you in a coffee shop. Then day 367, <laughs> you'll be like, you know what? Why don't we sit next to each other? So, I, the, like, explain to me. All right, let, let me drop some knowledge on you before we before we get back to uh, what we need to get drop back Drop it, to. let it rain. All right, let, let it rain, right? Clear so time. to your point, that could be possible in the Asian girl side that what they're looking for is like, stere oh, we're stereotyping right now, right? We're stereotyping across all females. They're looking for somebody who will treat them right, somebody who they enjoy being with, and some sense of security, right? Whether that's financial or emotional stability, right? I think we could... I think we both agree upon that point that a lot of females are seeking these type of attributes in Correct. whatever male, right? Um, and like the physical attraction, I would say it matters for a lot of females, but definitely not as much as I guess males stereotypically care about. It's a that. thing. I, I can, maybe I'll find some statistics on it, but it's a thing. Right. Continue. So it's a thing. So on that front, you're saying that Asian females are more open to guys of other races as long as they're like good, decent men. Yes. And going back or going to the Asian guy side, you're saying that even if, let's say, so, so-called so uh, good, decent Asian man is the same type of characteristics, like uh, has a good, good job, treats the girl right, and such and such like that, he can get girls of other races but because he has this mindset of, I want to get to know her first as a friend, or I want her to sit next to me so I know she's not like some crazy party animal, or she got to be like mentally stable, or whatever like prerequisites they have, or they have to be Asian, whatever prerequisites that they have, it doesn't fit into like the guys of other races who are like, Yo, if she's dope, I'm going a, I'm to a go hit her up. I don't I feel know. Like it doesn't fit into, like, this, um, culture? this current culture of, like, dating. Right. Where uh, I reach out to you, you reach out to me on, like, some basic level. We think that we connect. Um, then we just see where it goes, rather. Where I feel like these Asian men that I talk to, 
they kind of want the promise like, wow, this girl has X, Y, and Z. If everything goes right, this can go really far. Not, oh, let's find out where this goes, good or bad. Right? So. Right. So, to that point, uh, that can be possible. And I can see where you're coming from because I still think overall, Asian people hold their traditional values, at least many of them. So, in a traditional point of view, that's like how dating is kind of is in Asia. Like, people date to be serious and with the thought of having children and getting married, right? Whereas in American culture, it's like, it's like you described, right? If I like you and you like me, then we're going to see where it goes. Not uh, check, 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 probability at 5.67, no probability over 50%, <laughs> calculus derivative of that mass square root. The confidence <laughs> interval of <laughs> this relationship is less than 5%. Do not compute. Exactly. So Forgive like, that's me, my statistics deal. teacher. All right, you can, you can have that argument, right? Let's let's bring it back to, to the other point. Let's say that is still true, right? It. How does that explain though the popularity of Asian females in in let's say media, like you see in movies, commercials, TV shows, whereas it seems like Asian males we have like two people: the dude from Tokyo Drift, the two dudes from Tokyo Drift, right? And Tokyo Glenn, Drift. And so Glenn. you're saying the only people you have <laughs> and Glenn from The Walking Dead is from <laughs> Fast and the Furious 2 and The Walking Dead who is now dead. Yes. That's not a spoiler because that's super old. <laughs> so you either, you either seen it or you didn't. There... That's like three Asian dudes. That's, that's I'm, I'm making gonna, the I'm going to think of, of another Asian dude before right. this video is I, I get, I'll give you time. <laughs> Right, before I the get, video right, is right, over, I'll right, come up with another Asian. Alright, so you're gonna, you're gonna, you can't count Jackie Chan or Bruce Lee because <laughs> because they were, their their gain to notoriety was because of their innate special talent. Not saying acting's not special talent, but looks looks matter in Hollywood. Let's be real. So uh, okay, what about go. um? Yeah, you keep saying um. Don <laughs> Chen or the guy that was just in Star Wars and is in Ip Man. Donnie Yen. Yeah. He's also martial art, martial artist. But you said I couldn't see those two. Oh, wow. This is a handsome man, man <laughs> in fighting shape, absolutely crushing it on the movie circuit. I've seen all three Ip Men's at least three times. I have not seen the latest Star Wars. So, or that's not the latest, but I have not seen Do you hear movie. girls being like, yo, I gotta watch that Donnie Yen movie. Yo, Donnie Yen, have my kids. Boy, yo, he's... Donnie Yen, you juicy as hell. Oh, Donnie. Ex <laughs> Cheney Tatum, who? It's not, <laughs> like, well, you ever see, you he's, see he's that? In, he's in, I believe, Rogue One, not Magic Mike, the sequel. <laughs> like, he is in a, a, a decent movie. Yeah, let's go over YouTube Lord of the Rings. People will be like, oh, Orlando Bloom, you know? YouTube world, Asian men kill it. Asian men kill it because they couldn't kill it in Hollywood. So that's they're... crazy. <laughs> so that's why they're on YouTube. That's crazy. <laughs> why they're... But people always oh. just kill it on YouTube, let's be honest. That is true. Exactly. We, we kill it on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. See? So th how do you respond to that? Where's the sexy Asian I, man? I, I found a, I found another Asian man. I'm sure I could find another one. I'll leave it in the note comments section <laughs> below. The uh, we have we have examples in Hollywood. Not too many, right? I know that has to improve improve in the future, but I I don't think that discounts like I really don't think it came chicken and egg argument. More Asian women in Hollywood. More Asian women liked. It was like more it Asian women role. liked. Asian women are. Let's think of it like in the United States, right? In obesity, all this good stuff, right? Asian women stay a certain shape for their entire life. They like live to like 110. I know that this is just I'm throwing it out <laughs> there and saying you can you can let me have it later, but that all positives, right? Those that that'd be positive to anyone. Yeah. I think people are just starting to see 
that value and B, I didn't know, I'm attracted to it. It's just, I mean, like, let's just say they're fine at the end of the day. But, oh, but you made the same thing. There's, plenty, there's plenty of dudes. fine women. You'd be like, yo, Asian dudes stay in, like, they're not really fat and they live to be 110 also. No, but they're not. I mean. Oh, there you go, boy. Do they live to be 110? I, yeah. I mean, that, if Asian women are, why Asian guys? Well, maybe women, they, maybe women they, have maybe, a higher life expectancy maybe, overall. Maybe they live to be 108. All right, okay. There you go. But, oh, here's another one. When's the last time you saw an Asian dude modeling on, on like, some poster in Times Square or something? Or on advertisements? I don't think I've seen buses. Asian women modeling like that. Oh, hell yeah. You have Asian you actors. I don't see that many Asian women modeling on Hell billboards. yeah, you do. The or the mixed race. I do half know Asian, half white. a person I work with is an Asian man just as tall as me. He models on the side of putting in our 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 work week. <laughs> so is the proof in the pudding? <laughs> what a rare specimen. No wonder they hired him. <laughs> No wonder they hired him. Uh, he He's talented, that publicity. Talented <laughs> in more than a few areas. <laughs> Just ask the, his followers on Instagram. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll check it out after. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, how do you explain that then? I, I really don't think I see either of them. Right? I think you, that is still a, like a dominated area. Alright, what about this one? Here's another one. What about the articles that pop up that's like Asian... There's yellow fever. Asian females are submissive. See, and the one that just... I just sent you about the alt-right being like, yo, these women are prizes. That was a neo-Nazi article. <laughs> we are not going to refer to that. <laughs> and I think this is your YouTube feed because I don't get all these articles. This wasn't YouTube, this is the article. Well, the article is neo-Nazi, so I don't, I don't... Someone sent you that, didn't they? Mm -hmm. All right, this is how I got it. I got it from this female, this Asian female, who talks about all this stuff of Asian females being like fetishized and like feminism and that. And, like you know, like, I'm just drawing a profile for you right here uh, on the spot, like feminism. You know, like I'm an Asian female. All these dudes like try to hit on me because only because I'm Asian. I've been asked like ni hao in the bars and stuff. Like not even kidding, like ni hao or like or like are you Chinese or are you Korean? Like that type of like. So I've drawn a profile for you right there. So that's where I got the article from on my feed. But the ironic thing is, she's the only white guy. It's the ironic thing. Because it's just not, it's not like immediately negative. I also, we're, we're, I'm not even going to get into the mentality of <laughs> what's the proper way to, it, obviously you approach someone like as a human being, right? Uh, where, where you come from, whether it be, uh, are you from New York, New Jersey? Are you from no, China, no, no, Korea? No. Here's the popular from... one that gets recited over and over when so-called male goes to so-called Asian female. So what kind hey, of Asian where are, are you from? Uh, and New they York. say Central Jersey? Uh. Yeah, and then they're like, <laughs> no, where are you really from? Everyone that gets that. Deal. Everyone gets that. Everyone gets that? Do you get that, Josh? Everyone get. I mean, I don't get it in a bar because people don't <laughs> approach me. But, like, they just get that as long as you're from somewhere else, right? Or your parents are or from somewhere else. Or you look exotic. Yes. <laughs> uh, use that word, exotic. <laughs> All right. I'm, uh, I'm going to bring it to this, right? I think that the, there is an uptick in popularity in Asian women. I think it's, it's hard it. to correlate that to any one factor, right? It's not, I don't think it's a greater interest from white males, black males, Middle Eastern males, I don't know. Uh, I don't think you can correlate that. But the, the, uh, the dating circuit favors certain people, right? It's not a, a level play, playing field out there. It's like the early bird gets the worm. Even that, that same male that said like, oh, what, what kind of, uh, where are you really from, right? They do that to enough people, they're going to still find someone, right? So the fortune favors the bold. 
I think Silver says that, but <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I, I, I think that's just what happens, right? So in, in one step, you can say that there is, it's, it's being, the, there may be like a tilted scale for Asian women, but on the other side, you can say you have everything you need to push your way to the top, essentially, right? As an Asian male, as any Asian male, right? Uh, you have everything that you need to be desirable to everyone, right? And there's You're not going to be everyone's soup of the day, right? <laughs> everyone's not going to love you. But you can... Uh, I don't think you're going to just get turned down given if you take the best practices. So... Right, so... I don't know if it's a really answer, but I think I would like to get everyone else's opinion on this. So, so but you're saying that Asian girls are getting an uptick, where Asian dudes are remaining the same. But your solution for that is, and let's bring this home with a solution for these questions or whatever, or so conclusions. So, let me ask you, are any class of male getting an uptick? Are any class of male getting an uptick? Mm, I would say it's relatively constant. Exactly, right? So, the, you're not seeing a bunch of musical chairs, right? We can You can get into the topic of, like, over-sexualizing women, etc. But that stuff shuffles for whatever reason, right? There's so much more content and, and focus and, and Instagram just on that, right? So... With males staying constant, that playing field is still the same, right? So there's no less love going to Asian males. It's it's a it's a, the same patch notes, right? Just right. But why is why is the female section getting uptick about the male section getting up with, with the male section staying the same? I don't think there's an answer to that. You don't think there's an answer to that? So you're just saying it's the it's the soup of the day. That's what it is, soup of the month. It's, it's the, the soup of the day. day. You know, they're trying to taste the rainbows out here. <laughs> Asian guys trying to taste the rainbow too. They gotta shut down because of their the color of their skin, but it's all <laughs> the good. The color of their skin. It's all good. The content of their good. character. It's all good, but yeah. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Are Asian women the soup of the day, or is it just some other factors? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you like the video, give us a like, sub to the channel, and we'll catch you in the next Is Life video next week.